decided about five years ago that we needed to make sure that this city had a performing arts center that would really support musical theater, uh, theater, uh, orchestras, yes, orchestra professors here, um, as, as well as music and performance. So we uh, worked with the mayor's office and through efforts that we did through public-private partnerships and tax credits that he was able to give those developers, we will be able to build a performing arts center uh, that will not cost my students any money, which is good because my students come very, from very modest means. And this performing arts center will be a benefit to the community. It's a 500 seat performing arts center, uh, as well as a smaller 150 seat theater. These are, these are spaces that will be used by the community as well as by our, our students. So I'm thrilled to be part of this community. But I also knew that one of the things that we need to do, because Jersey City is in such a wonderful place, absolute wonderful place, is we need to do this cultural asset map. Today, though, we're talking about the cultural asset map, which is uh, driven by NJCU and the partnership with the city. And I view us as being more support staff and her and the Arts Council really being the point in this initiative because they have a better feel and they could be honest brokers in what's worked and what hasn't worked. We didn't want any of the city's biases to play a part in this. We wanted to take a clean look at where the city's strengths and weaknesses are. I know that our best asset in Jersey City, although I talk about a lot of different things that are great in Jersey City, the best asset is really the people. And in order to keep Jersey City moving in a positive direction, you need to be investing in that creative class and make sure that that creative class wants to stay here. So this is the first step that we're today that we're taking. It's a multi-step approach that's going to take several years to make sure that we get to a place that we're supporting the arts in a way that they need to be supported. From a Jersey City standpoint and Arts Council as well, I just want to highlight in the next year, we're working with the state legislature on finding consistent revenue sources to fund our arts communities here in Jersey City. We knew we were surrounded by artists. We knew that there were dozens of arts organizations and although we all had very strong personal collection, uh, connections to the arts, um, just knowing, just moving forward with what we felt to be true didn't feel like a really good plan. Uh, we needed data. Getting a handle on the art scene, you need data. Of course, once you have the data, then you have to turn it into stories um, so that you can convince donors and officials to actively fund and support the arts. This is about, yes, yeah, seeing what's here, and seeing uh, where everyone is working, but also seeing what the challenges are. And of course, we have many challenges, and I know from my office and from the Arts Council and from NJCU standpoints, we're here and we're committed to help finding smart ways to focus energy to move forward. Of course, the mayor touched <laughs> on one of those um, just now. So with the cultural asset map, we had 80 organizations and over 450 artists fill out our survey, so that's huge. It really gave us a nice first step into seeing what we're, what we're dealing with here and now. You have cards on your table, and I encourage you to take those with you. Take as many as you want, I have many more. And if you know anybody who hasn't filled out this asset map, please encourage them to do so, because this is a living document, and the hope is that the more data and the more information we get, the more we can get a clear picture of who is out there creating the work and how we can best serve them. As part of the cultural asset map, really the most important piece from my perspective is our long range plan that we have laid out to um, really start to tackle some of these important issues. So we have a six month plan where we have laid out, and this will all be uh, on the website, culturalassetsjc.com, in the next six months, we'd like to start with uh, Meet the Funders panel and to have funders who are not here and active in Jersey City or Northern New Jersey come out here, take a look at who's here, have a nice introductory sort of event, and then a panel discussion where you as artists and then also as organizations can ask questions, get feedback, and really develop strong proposals that will be successful. We have uh, also seen that there are some challenges with building boards. That's really true across our nonprofits in Jersey City. But I think building 
nonprofit arts boards is a particular challenge because you do need to fill very specific roles, uh, particularly when it comes to business and finance, getting lawyers on your boards, uh, things of that nature. So we are going to, we have a few different approaches one is more of a mixer approach and one is more with a formal organization that does match nonprofits with boards, with potential board members. We have a lot of people here on the waterfront working. A lot of them are living in Jersey City and they don't necessarily want to volunteer in New York. So we're really trying to get some of those organizations that focus on board matchmaking to do some focused initiatives here in Jersey City for their employees. We want to help the 501, the, well, the nonprofit organizations to um, get some more information if they think that a 501c3 path is right for them. And if not, how we can get fiscal sponsorships or partner with other organizations and share resources. So we'll be doing a, a series of events around what is right for you. Will you have a startup nonprofit? Um, I think sometimes we think that being a nonprofit means I don't make a profit. <laughs> but we, if you want to formalize, if you want to do fundraising, if you want to do grant writing, if you really are ready to make that step, there's a couple different choices you can make, and we're here to help support those efforts. <clears throat> 